Well, hello, crafty friends. It is Mel. I am back from my crop, and I am trying to recover from a quite the cold that I've had. So I'm starting to feel better. Um, I still got a little ways to go, but um, I wanted to get this video out, and thank you all for patiently waiting, those of you who are interested in the Traveler's Notebook Swap. So basically, I announced on my channel that I'm going to be doing a holiday Traveler's Notebook Swap. Um, what it is is you will have a basically have a partner um, but it's going to kind of be like a secret partner so um, everyone is going to create a b6 size traveler's notebook and here's some of the ones that I made at my swap um, they still are going to be I still want to cover um, the insides with um, some some matching pattern paper and I still have some you know more to do I want to really make these um, a nice sweet little gift for somebody so um I mentioned in that video that um, you can make your traveler's notebook and then make some inserts and pack some little goodies in there, maybe some die cuts or some embellishments or, you know, anything of your choice to kind of any little matching thing or little post-its, whatever, um, that are going to go in your little traveler's notebooks. And um, I'm going to give it a little extension on the time because um, I'm just kind of announcing now that... Um, who will be in the swap. So make sure that you comment below if you're still in and um, I will get back to you and we'll keep this, you know, hopefully a smaller group and either way, it doesn't matter. I just have to make sure that I get equal, um, that I have even number of participants because what you're going to do is mail that to me first and then also mail me your return postage and your return address on another label and I will send your um the one that someone your partner's made for you back to you that way I see you know that whoever's participating and the people who don't send one will not get one um because that's not really fair to the people in the swap so that's why I do it that way where you send it to me first and then I kind of organize it and it'll take me a little bit to divvy it up and to get your packages out to you um and I'll go over all these details you know further but for now um, if you are in the swap, get busy creating. If you are new to this and you'd like to enter, please contact me as soon as possible. Um, you can leave me a message here. But here's just some of the ones that I created just to give you an idea but I had fun at my swap making these this was like the paper of the goodie bag that they gave you at our um at our crop um it was stamping up paper and it's double-sided and then this was um a little charm that they gave in the goodie bag and then these little black rhinestones were an, an also also in the goodie bag and this is a burlap snowflake that I got from Target dollar spot last year um and then I just used that red um I thought red would look sharp with this color with the black and white um I used my red um, elastic from Hobby Lobby that I got in the Christmas section and then I you know this is the double sided of the inside and then I just covered it with some matching with some matching paper in there and um, I have some you know more work I want to do maybe making some dashboards and including some goodies in here so I'm deciding which ones um, I'm going to put in the swap and then, and then I made a couple extra just in case someone doesn't come through and I don't want anybody being stuck but um, hopefully that doesn't happen usually um, you, got, you gals are very great at getting your things out so this one I still have to cover with the paper but I just love this one so this is that new doodle bug paper that came just in time before um, my getaway and um, I just laminated this little guy and I used my crocodile and punched a hole in him so he's like a little charm on here along with one of the stamping up um, little ornament charms but I just thought that was really cute and I used the red for that one too so um, and then it has the brick on the inside so I just want to cover it with the matching paper and then this one, I have to put the notebooks in, um, but here, I love this little gingerbread one, and then it has the little um, countdown on the inside. So I started this one, and I have that, and then I laminated some of the embellishments, and then I just have to add the papers to that, and I'm still making more. So um, anybody who is interested, please make sure you comment below. I have to get this started quite quickly. Um, so let me know if you are a person that already commented and you're still in, and, um, and then you just stay tuned on my channel for future update videos. I'll tell you where to send it, um, what the deadline is. So I think I'm going to push it to um, that it has to be mailed out by this um, third week of November. So um, it gives you a little over two weeks. Um, and then that way, it'll give me a week to get them in and um, kind of get them back out to you. Because I want to get them close to December for you guys so that you can use it for the entire month, um, your new little um, notebook. And I love these. I write, I tell everybody, I just write every little list in there. If my kids are off school a certain day and I need to remember, or if I'm going in an extra day at work, or whatever I need to write to my shopping list, um, my daughter's birthday list, the kid's Christmas list. What You know, these are really good to just kind of throw in your pocketbook 
look. And then you can, when you get bored of them, you can change them out for the holidays. So um, it's just a cute little thing. So if anybody is interested, please let me know um, as soon as possible, and you can get started already um, on what you're making. And that way, um, when when I put the video out, you'll be ready of you know where you guys mail these. I'll personally um, send you an email of where to ship them to, and just give you the directions of what needs to be in your package. So anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you like some of my creations, and stay tuned for um, some card shares that I also made on my crops. So thank you guys for watching. Bye.